Hi, welcome. Last time we learned more specific details on how to work with notes and lyrics within the software. Today, we will look into the usage of Synthesizer vStudio on its plugin version inside at the AW. So let's get started. Okay, so this is my logic pro session, something very simple. Okay, now let's create a new instrument track. Reset it. Rename it. And load an instance of Synthesizer B Studio on it. Perfect. Now, first we need to make sure that both the tempo of the plugin and the tempo of the session are the same. Let's load a voice database and start drawing some notes. Okay, let's give it a listen. La, 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 la. Great, but this is not the only way that you can enter your melody here. Let's go over to File, Import as Tracks, and select a MIDI file that already has your melody inside of it. Click on OK, select a voice, delete the first track, and let's give it a listen. I know I can't keep this way. Okay, if you want to hear your vocal within your session, set the focus on the DAW and hit play. I know I can't keep this way. Picking pieces from the past like this. Perfect. If you update Synthesizer B Studio to the 1.11.0 version, this will allow you to use the ARA Bridge Mode, which synchronizes both plugin and DAW tempo, and you can control your playback function when having the focus on the plugin. There's also a full ARA mode with more advanced features available for some other DAWs. We invite you to check the user manual to learn more about it. Okay. Great. So today we learned the different ways you can use Synthesizer B Studio within your DAW. This is very helpful for a lot of workflows. But did you know that you can transform your voice into notes and lyrics within the software? So, see you in the next video.